Hello everyone, how are you? Fine, right? In this video, we are going to discuss about distance time graph. We will discuss how to draw the graph, how to interpret from the graph. But before that, as usual, we will recap what we have done in our previous lesson. In our previous lesson, we discussed about constant speed and changing speed. Constant speed means same speed throughout the journey. Changing speed means different speeds throughout the journey. What is distance time graph? A distance time graph is a useful way of showing how something is moving. With the help of graph, we can see that object is speeding up or object is slowing down or object is taking rest. So all these things we can understand with the help of a distance time graph. Now we will learn how to draw a distance time graph. But before that, we will discuss the questions which was given in the previous lesson. First question was related to a graph in which there was a three line graph and we have to do comparative study. So we will see that question first. In that A, question A was who arrived first? And if you look at the graph carefully, among all the three, Amira, one, Amira is the one who has taken least time to cover the same distance. So the answer will be Amira. Now question B is, who stopped? How do you know? So again we have to look all the three graphs. In that, if you look at David graph, David graph there is a stop. There is a, there is a line which is parallel to the x-axis. It means that time, time was going but there was no change in distance. So we can say that David has stopped in between. So if you see a graph parallel to the x-axis, parallel to the time, then this is the graph for not moving, means object is not moving, object is stationary. The second answer will be David. Now come question C. Question C is, who was slowest at the start? So again, if we see all the three people, then David is the one who has taken 5 minutes to cover very less distance compared to other two. So the answer is David. Next we will see question D. Question D is who was slowest at the end? And to answer this question again we have to look at the graph very carefully. We have to see that who has covered minimum distance in given time. So if you look at all the three all the three have taken 5 minutes at the last moment of their journey and if we look each one of them, then Amira is the one who has covered minimum distance. It is almost 1500 only in that 5 minute, whereas Hanna and David has covered more than that. So we can say that Amira is the one who is slowest at the end. So answer D will be Amira. Question E is, what was the average speed of the person who arrived first? So, Amira is the person who arrived first. So, for average speed, we will calculate here. Average speed it is, is equal to total distance by total time. So here total distance is as per graph 4500 meter by total time is 15 minute. So this is minute. We have to convert this minute into second. So that will be 4500 divided by 15 into 60. So the answer will be 5 meter per second. 
So average speed of Amira is 5 meter per second. Now we will learn about distance time graph. Distance time graph is a graph in which we take time on x axis and distance on y axis. I will draw here. This is one of the axis and then another one. This is your x axis and this is y axis. We will take time over here and distance over here. The graph which we draw with the help of distance and time that is known as distance time graph. When we draw a graph along with the physical quantity, this is physical quantity, time is a physical quantity and distance is a physical quantity. Along with the physical quantity, we write the unit also which we are going to consider in graph. So for example, I will write here second and then for distance meter. This is distance time graph of Sam's journey. Sam has covered 140 meter in 140 seconds. We have to draw a distance time graph of his journey. For that, we are going to use a graph paper. This is a graph paper and first as we have discussed before, we will draw the axis. I have done it here x axis and y axis x axis i'm going to take time and unit is also written here that is second and y axis i'll be taking distance and unit is meter now we are going to put the value of time on time axis and the value of distance on y axis it is i have taken equal interval so 20 40 60 80, 100, 120, 140. In the same way for y axis also 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 and 140. So in this way we should plot the values which is given in the question. Now we will mark the points. I have marked here. I will explain how I have done that. For 20 seconds, the distance covered was 20. So if you look at here, these points meet here. Here. So I have marked a cross over here. Then next point will be 40 second and the distance was 40 meter. So 40 second and 40 meter here. Then the next time 60 second and the distance covered if you look at the chart 60 meter. 60 meter in 60 second. Then next 80 meter in 80 second. 80 meter in 80 second. Then next 100 meter in 100 second. So in this way we are going to plot all the points then 120 meter in 120 seconds then 140 meter in 140 seconds. So after plotting all the points now we have to join it. So we will use a scale and we will join all the points. Make sure that all the points should be in the same line. So, this is the graph of Sam's journey. Straight line passing through the origin. And this type of graph is known as graph for constant speed or steady speed. This is distance time chart of Atif's journey and we have to draw distance time graph of this journey. So we are again going to use graph paper. 
we will mark the axis x and y we will plot the values given in the chart and then we are going to draw a graph Now we are going to compare these two graph. This is Sam's journey graph and this is Atif's journey graph. If you look at these two graph, we can understand in better way what is the meaning of steady speed and what is the meaning of changing speed. If you see this line, this is a straight line passing through origin. So this type of graph is a graph for steady speed. Wherever you calculate speed, speed will be same but in this one speed will not be same at every point some points speed will be different with the help of distance time graph we can interpret about distance covered time taken and speed here is a graph and with the help of this graph we are going to see how we can know about all these three quantities suppose we have a question that how much distance has been covered in 3.5 seconds? So to know the answer of that question without doing any calculation, we will do this. First mark the time which was given in the question that is 3.5 second. It will come in between 2 to 4. Then draw one line, vertical line to the graph. And we have to see that which point this line is meeting to the graph. Then mark that point. After that, extend that point towards y-axis. Now, since y-axis is the distance, so this point is the distance covered in 3.5 seconds. So, here it is almost 18 meter. So, this will be the answer that in 3.5 seconds, 18 meter has been covered. Now, for another example, we can see that, suppose there is a question that how much time has been taken for 35 meter. So 35 meter will come somewhere here. 35. And we will do the same process. We will take one line towards graph. And suppose this is meeting over here. And then we will extend this line towards time axis. Somewhere here. So. This is the point where the time taken will come as an answer. So for 35 meter, this much time it is nearby 6. Now we have to know about speed. So for speed, we know the formula distance by time. So that will be y by x. Actually it is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. This is called slope. So slope of a distance time graph tells us about speed of an object.